Hey, you lucky do YouTubers, it's me again. Hey, uh, I'm just gonna show you something. This right here, this is the, the end piece to a steel pole saw. And the complaint was that it was not oiling the chain. And you know what? I've done dozens of these things. And the pumps don't, don't go bad. They just get clogged with uh, sawdust. So over here, we've got a second one. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit better for you. I'll show you what that cup is doing there in one second. So I'm going to show you how, how to take it apart. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the chain and the bar off. We're going to try not to spill all our oil. It's a three-quarter inch, uh, what do you call it, socket. Get it loose. I'm doing this. I'm going to do it fast because I already did the other one. I want to get this back to the guy. I got to go feed the sheriff's dogs. She's my buddy. So, But I just want to take the time. Since I already did one, I'll show you how to do the second one. So this thing's all full of crap. We obviously don't need that. That's probably cutting cactus. So we're going to get that off. This right up in here, this little spot right there. You see that with my finger? Am I focused at all? That's where, that's where the oil is supposed to be coming out. And it hasn't been doing it for a while. I can see where all this crap is getting burned on here. So we gotta get this thing buffed out. So I'm gonna get my, my wrench and we have to take and pull all, we gotta pull these four bolts. They're T27s. One, can I see that? One, two, nope, zoom back out. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I'm going to pause you. I'm going to blast this stuff with um, carb cleaner, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I just shot it with a little bit of carb spray real fast. So, and then I got to drain this out. But before I do, since I just did the other one, I want you to be able to look down inside this cup. And like when I move it, do you see all the crap that keeps showing up in the bottom? Well, that's pretty relevant because you're going to see the size of the little tiny filter holes here in a second when I pull the filter off. Yes, there is a filter. So there's that. Uh, I need to take and dump this old stuff out. It's pretty easy to see how all this crap gets down in there. I can see it falling out right now. I can see a ton of it coming out. I'm not gonna worry about every little drop because all I'm doing is fishing out the, the crumbs. So when I split this, uh, this case, then you're really gonna see how much is really in there. It's a little bit windy, guys, hang with me. It's okay. All right, there's that, that's closed up. Put a can on this, there we go. Okay, T27s, reverse. One, two, three, four. I'm going to flip it upside down for a half a second because I want you to see how much sawdust and crap is going to collect down inside that tank. Okay. There's the filter. The filter just flat out fell off. So that's not a great sign. But down inside of there, those holes, you can see a little bit of daylight in there. Those holes are so small. So anyways, look how much, look how much sawdust and stuff is in this. That's what's doing it. And then a lot of the little stuff, it'll make its way past. Yeah, I don't want this. I need to get rid of that before I put it back together. Um, so normally it would look like, where the heck did I just throw that little filter to? Oh, here it is. So normally when you look inside of here, this is what it's gonna look like. There's the filter, there's a little rubber grommet, and then the pump is behind that. The pump is on a little spindle gear that it goes off only when the chain is moving is the only time that it's oiling. It won't just sit there and pump out oil. So you take the filter off, throw that over there. 
this right here it can only come in or you know come out and go in one way i should have a pair of pliers but if you take and push this little rubber piece up and out of the way see how it deforms it right there now you can just reach in there and pull this thing out it's just an it's an elbow is all it is can you see that it's just an elbow zoom in if you're watching this on your computer instead of your cell phone so now the pump is this little silver piece and you're like well how the hell do i get that out of there i wish i could tell you exactly guys i want to say that that's like a a 522 bolt i'm not sure if you get it this far you can just take the piece down to uh home depot uh, i know they've got a very good selection of um what do you call it metric bolts and stuff and just it, keep it and design it for you know just for this one project the shop is going to charge you probably at least sixty dollars to do this they're not going to put it in a pump they're going to swap it out real fast with somebody else's because they don't go bad they just get clogged so we're going to take it threads into there now we've got a washer and we're going to use the side of this housing right here when i turn this bolt and that's going to take and start pulling so you can see it it'll pull that pump out so you don't need to watch every single one of them i'm just going to start spinning this around I'll come back to it in a second and you'll see how much more it's sticking out. See how much more now is sticking out? We're, we're just, we're pulling that pump right out of there. The oil actually comes in through this side. It comes up through that little piece right here and then out on that hole on the other side, for sure, on this side. So for sure we're going to have to clean that. But dimes the donuts over on this side which is the in intake side of the pump you're going to see one u.s registered shitload of sawdust and that's what we what i'm doing right now i'm just turning this bolt it's not that hard it's just my hands are all oily and make a note how this one how this goes in the big the big side right there is the part that phases out it gives it every opportunity for the oil to make its way out of that port it's almost out we're coming in for the big reveal and if this is any different from the dozens and dozens of other ones I've ever done I will be amazed nope I'm not amazed see this okay I'm gonna try to zoom because this is the most important part you guys I'll put my hand behind it and right there you see all that stuff right there? I'm only going to get one shot at this. I'll push it away with, I'm going to push it away with my finger. That's all sawdust. See that? It's just sawdust. There's the hole for the pump. The pump, it doesn't, it doesn't go bad. See, it's already trying to push oil already just by, whoops. It's already trying to push oil just by me spinning it. See the bubble in there? It's just full of sawdust. So I'm going to take and spray this stuff out with, um, some carb spray, or I got air right here. That's pretty clean. And it is so super tricky to take and put this back in. It's not funny. You're gonna take this, you're gonna unscrew the bolt. I'm gonna unzoom you again, guys. Right there. Zoom in on that stuff. Okay. So now you're just gonna take and take that washer off. Back off the bolt, back off the bolt, back off the bolt, back off the bolt. You're going to take and you're going to put this bolt back in here. Right here like this. Okay, we cleaned it. We know it. We know that it pumps, okay? This is the pickup side. The oil goes down. It travels down through. It travels up this thing into that hole and then out and then it comes up through there. So, and there's a big old space. You can, if you're doing it for the first time, take a little piece of, um, like a paper clip or something and feel up inside of there. So you'll locate it and you'll know exactly where it is. But when you've done a bunch of them, you're going to go like this. You're going to make sure that hole is pretty much lined up with where that if you look right now you see that hole right there is going to line up with that tube right there 
that's going to take it and uh, let the oil go up and come out the bar. Okay. You got to hold on one second because I'm going to tap that in there and I want you to listen for the sound. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I'm back like one second later. Okay. So here's what you need. You need yourself like a 22 ounce framing hammer, a one pound sledge will do it. Uh, jackhammer, I'm just kidding. You need something to tap that in with you guys. I just want you to be able to hear it. And with the, the, the teeth on this thing, it resonates and it makes a good sound. So now just listen while I'm tapping this in. Hear the ding, ding, ding. Okay, now you, you're, you're gonna hear a definite change when it bottoms out, when it, when it goes to where it needs to be. Now listen. Right there. Hear it? Hear it? That's it. That's home. It's done. That's how you get it back in. Project is over. Put everything back. I'm going to get rid of this crappy oil, clean that gasket, stick it back in there. And then what I do is like I'll take a, like a T30, stick it in the end of there, put it on the end of here, circulate the hell out of it, get the oil pumping, and then give it back. Uh, if you got any questions, because I did do it kind of fast, uh, yeah, feel free to ask. You don't see a lot of these, these videos, but the pumps, they don't go bad. They just get clocked, and they'll charge you for them. And so once you do it once, the second time's a breeze. All right, guys, that's it. I'm done. I'm out. Okay, you guys, I lied. I'm not out. Here is the bottom. That mating surface is all nice and cleaned. I washed out the tank. That part, is, that part is there, and the gasket is all nice and clean. So now we got to take put this thing back together. There's the filter. Spray that out with a little bit of filter. Going to spray that out with a little bit of carb cleaner. That's done. Here's the elbow. Now this is kind of cool. There's a little bunk on the bottom of this thing right there. I'll make sure that we're in focus. There we go. That little bunk on the bottom has got to be sticking through that hole right there. So I'll show you how that goes. It's an elbow. There's the bottom of the pump right at the end of my finger. This piece goes in there. That little, little shark fin sticks straight down in the bottom. Go like that. Stick it in there. If you get it like this and it's looking a little bit squidgy, Hope you can see that. See how it's looking a little bit squidgy? That means it's not in down here. Once you get this part down here, all pulled in where it's supposed to be, that, whoops, here we go. I get some pliers. That piece will go and it will, it'll be nice and uniform. Okay, so like that's where it needs to be. Right like that, see how it's filled up that hole? Now this is back to being round, so it will accept that filter. There goes, there goes the filter. I got crap all over my hands. Okay, now this cover goes right back. Whoops. That's part of the, the little holder. Okay. That goes back in there like that. There's four T27s. Two. They're all the same size. It doesn't matter which one goes in which hole. It does not matter. Nice and gentle. Next one. Done. 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 Okay. Go like this. Okay. Guys, I'm gonna clean this part out here a little bit first with the with the carb spray. And then we're gonna put some oil in it. But it's, I'll have to come back and then I'll actually show you with the oil pumping out the side and how I do that. So, no, I'm not gone yet. Hold on. Okay, this is it. This is the last part. So, this is all like this. Here's this. What I do is like I'm using that big, that same long T27 and I put it in like where the, the shaft would go and I kind of tip it at a little angle. 
So I'm assimilating that the, that the chain is running. I don't need the chain on it. I don't need the machine. I don't want to sit there. And it will take at least a full 60 seconds. So I'm going to flip this thing. I don't know if I can do it upside down because the oil will be away. But look right in there and let's see if we can't pick up some oil. Whoops, hold on. Get in there, little bastard. There we go. We just want to see oil running out of that slot. See the oil running? And the bubbles. So we're making oil. And that's not 100% because this thing is slipping on the inside of there. But you know what? We get to clean it up. Yeah, we get to take it, throw it back together. And yeah. That's how you do it. This one's this one's going back. Alright guys. Hey, thanks for watching. And uh, hope that's something that'll help some some of you guys. Because you don't need to pay 60 some odd freaking dollars to have someone clean your pump like we just did in 10 minutes. So all right, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Share it with a buddy, and I'll talk at you later. I'm done. I'm out.